How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? I hope you're excited because today we got back my PSA 20 car grading submission from the November Sport Card Expo in Toronto. Post a bunch of videos on how to submit at the Sport Card Expo on my channel. So if you haven't checked those out already, go ahead and check those out. If you haven't watched already, I've done one PSA grading submission reveal already on this channel, as well as an MNT grading submission reveal. So check those out if you enjoy stuff like this and grading reveals. And if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing uh if you want to see more grading reveals more uh box openings more uh top five young gun videos stuff like that subscribe if you enjoy what you see drop a like on the video it really helps me grow the channel and comment down below if you submitted at the sport card expo and if you got your submissions back already so like i said it's a 20 card grading submission the total cost for this with shipping and taxes and everything was 655 dollars and 40 cents canadian way cheaper than last time and i got double the cards graded um yeah just because that's because the bulk level service opened up not only that but this, this took way less time to get here than last time uh last time when i submitted at the expo it took over four months to get my cards back this time it was a little bit over two i think part of that was i got upcharged on that uh alex Ovechkin there in the background but anyways we got our cards here let's get into the reveal All right, you guys can see all the cards there. They're in there pretty snug, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out and make sure they're face down. Okay, first up, we got a Bowen Byram Young Guns. I should say a lot of these cards uh, have gone down in value since I submitted them to the PSA. Gonna be a lot of Series 2 Young Guns here. I should also mention, uh, in total, this worked out to be 32.77 Canadian per card to grade. Um, yeah, let's just see. This Bowen Byram was the last card I threw in. We're going from I guess lowest to best. Uh, last card I, th I threw in, I had down as a nine. Bit of a weak corner there. Let's see if we, yep, PSA nine, Bowen Byram. I just, I wanted to make it a round number at 20. Um, a nine, it's all right. Yeah, don't really know why I threw in that Byram there, but starting off with a nine, not great. We'll see if we can bounce back with the Cole Perfetti Young Guns. He was out to a hot start at the start of the year, and Winnipeg's been kind of a wagon this year. If they can make a Okay, playoff run. Maybe this card could get some value. And let's see what our Cole Perfetti gets. And we get our first Gem Men 10. That's what we love to see. I'll throw values on screen of these. I probably threw one up for the buyer. But yeah, Cole Perfetti, PSA 10. We are one for two. I should also mention the big card in this submission is the Kale McCarr Young Guns Canvas that we pulled on this channel out of that tin. I'm sure you guys have all seen the clip. And next up, anyways, we got our Seth Jervis Extended Series Young Guns. Fun fact, uh, shout out to, I think his name's the Evil Clown here on YouTube. Uh, got this in a trade from him, and I decided to get a grade because I thought it was in pretty good condition. Let's see what the Seth Jarvis scored. And, oh, we got a PSA 9. That's too bad. I thought it was in pretty good condition. I must have missed something. Uh, PSA 9, yeah, not doing too great to start here compared to last time. Last time we did really well, but we got two 9s already. Not looking <laughs> terrific. Okay, next up, we got two Mason McTavish Young Guns. His stock has fallen with Anaheim's struggles, but I am very high on McTavish and the Ducks' future in general. Let's see how this McTavish Young Guns does 3-2-1, and that gets a 9 as well. We are not doing well at all. Uh, PSA 9 McTavish, hopefully you can get 110 at least. All right, second McTavish, getting a little nervous now, getting a lot of 9s. That's another 9. Wow, tough grader, I guess. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I thought they, these cards looked pretty good, but we're getting a lot of nines. All right, next up, we got an Alex Dabrinka Young Guns. When I submitted this, I thought Ottawa would be doing a lot better than they are. Uh, yeah, let's see what Dabrinka gets there. And boom, that's a PSA 10. That's a nice one to get. Alex Dabrinka, get us on the board again, because right now we're at three nines and two tens. We need to get some tens here. We need to get at least 10 tens. If the, we don't get ten, at least half tens, then this is going to be a big L. Looking through these cards I have here, I don't know what I was thinking submitting some of these cards. It's Morgan Riley. I don't think it's going to get a 10. <laughs> we'll see, though. Never know. And, yep, PSA 9, Morgan Riley, Young Guns. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing for this submission. Like, I'm just looking at some of these cards. I'm like, I guess I was just trying to submit everything I could. Uh, I was trying to get, like, up to 20 cards. That's That was my thing. I was like, I submitted 10 last time. I want to submit 20 this time. Lesson learned, I guess. Only submit stuff that's going to grade a 10. Morgan Riley, PSA 9. Okay, next up, we got a JT Miller, Young Guns. He's been playing well, but the Canucks have not. Absolute dumpster fire in Vancouver. The Boudreaux situation, absolutely awful that they did that. But now they got Rick Tockett. See if they can turn things around. Probably going to be another 9 here, to be honest. 
And no, nope, oh, okay. <laughs> that actually kind of surprised me. I thought, I think I had this down in a nine PSA 10 JT Miller. So that's our third 10. Yeah, because I thought this back corner was a little soft. But yeah, JT Miller, PSA 10. I'll take that one. All right, next up, we have a Trevor Zegers Young Guns. This is the only one I submitted in the submission because most of the Zegers Young Guns I have are absolutely destroyed. This was the one in the best condition. Even then, it was in probably rough condition. Uh, probably going to get a nine if I had to guess, but let's see. Oh, nope. Boom. There we go. PSA Gem Mint 10. That's probably a pretty good one to get. We're starting to bounce back here now. These next few cards, these are the ones I want in 10. So if we get some nines, make up for it here with these tens. I like that. All right, next card in the submission. This is one of three Lucas Raymond Young Guns I got graded. His stock has fallen quite a bit with that sophomore slump he had at the start of the season. He's been playing better as of late, but uh, his card prices have dropped quite a bit. Uh, I think he can definitely bounce back. I think he has a bright future, so I'm probably just going to hold these till next season, to be honest. Lucas Raymond Young Guns. Let's see if we can get at least two 10s out of these Lucas Raymond Young Guns. And the first one's a 10. There we go. We are officially five out of 10 10s, so... That's good. We're, we're halfway right now. We're on an all right pace here with five out of 10 gem mint 10s. Let's see if we can keep it up with another Raymond. Boom, there we go. Two for two on the Lucas Raymonds. I got two, two out of three gem mint 10s on the Raymonds. Let's see if we can go three for three. All right, third Lucas Raymond Young Guns, come on. Gem in 10. Bo oh, I thought we got it. <laughs> I was expecting to get it. Okay, we got two out of three on the Raymonds. Uh, I'll take it. All right, next up, we got an Andre Sveshnikov Young Guns. Uh, yeah, not too, I think this should get a 10, but we will see, never know now. And that's a mint nine, that's too bad. Actually, in the last submission I did, the two I submitted, I thought were in better condition this one, and I threw this one in because I thought it was still in pretty good condition. I had a chance at a 10, but unfortunately, get a nine there. All right, talk about stocks that have fallen. These next two cards have absolutely crashed and burned. But this one is a French variation of Quentin Byfield. So that's the reason I submitted it. Uh, not because it was Byfield, because of the French variation. And a, a 10 here would be really nice, actually. But who knows? We'll see. And boom, there we go. Gem in 10 French Quentin Byfield. That's got to be a nice card. Uh, if Byfield can find his game, it would be worth a heck of a lot more than it probably is right now. But yeah, you got to like that one. All right, next up, <laughs> Lexus Lafreniere Young Guns. Uh, this card is probably worth around, a gem in 10 of this card is probably worth around $350 when I submitted this. Now, probably around north of 200, around 225, I had to guess. But yeah, Lexus Lafreniere Young Guns. And boom, there we go, gem in 10, Lafreniere. Gotta like that. Uh, yeah, he's just been disappointing so far. I think he's still got a lot of potential. Uh, but he shouldn't be worth $350, and the card market has finally kind of corrected itself. All right, down to the final five. Two of them are Marit Sider, Young Guns. His price was a lot higher when I submitted this as well. He's dropped quite a bit, like Raymond, but still got a lot of upside. Uh, he is a defenseman, so that hurts him a bit, but the Detroit market should help. Let's see if we can get at least one of these gem mint 10. Come on. There we go. That's one. One of them is a gem mint 10 at least, so that's good. Okay, second Marit Sider Young Guns. Let's see if we can go two for two. Come on, baby. Yep, bang. There we go. Two Gem Mint Marit Sider 10s. I think that's safe to say we probably made money on this submission now. All right, the last three cards of the submission were kind of the big ones. There's no, like, terrifically big cards like last time with the Lemieux rookie card and the Ovechkin Young Guns. But we got a Matty Beneers Young Gun. Pulled this card on release day. I didn't think it was in the greatest condition, but I thought it'd be a good opportunity to get a Matty Beneers Young Guns graded early. And if I did get a 10, it'd probably be worth a lot more uh, now than it will be in a couple months. So yeah, I figured I might as well try. Uh, I was expecting a 9, but let's take a look here. And boom, there we go. Matty Beneers Young Guns PSA 10. I have no idea what this would be worth. I haven't seen a ton of these yet, to be quite honest. But a PSA 10 Matty Beneers Young Guns, gotta love that. Okay, these last two cards are the ones I want to 10 the most. You know him. It's my boy, Cole Caulfield. I want a 10 very badly, but you can even see it on the back. I think it's going to get a 9. Look at that corner. I don't know if you can see it on camera too well. It's pretty chipped. Uh, I didn't submit it in the first submission. I had this card in the first submission, but I didn't submit it uh, at that insane price that it used to be because I figured it's going to get a 9. But if it gets a 9, it'll be the card I keep in my PC, as always. And then I can move the 10 or my SGC 9.5. Anyways, fingers crossed for a 10. Nope. We get a mint 9. Expected. Uh, yeah. It was my last coffee I had raw. Threw it in there. Figured I might as well try for a 10. All right. The big card of the submission. The Kale McCarr Young Gun Canvas. Uh... <laughs> Don't know what to expect. I think it's going to be a 10. I looked it over. I didn't see anything wrong with it. 
but I may miss something. I missed something on some of these cards. If you saw my last grading submission with PSA, uh, I got every single grade right, except for this Jake Onger here. I thought the Onger would be a 10. It came out a nine. Everything else, I was spot on. I went nine for 10 on my, uh, I guess, my own grades, and this time has not been the case. Anyways, let's see what the Makar is. Come on, bang, let's go. PSA 10, Young Gun Canvas, Kale Makar, Love that. This submission was a success. If No matter what, if this card was a 10, this, this submission was a success in my mind. But yeah, let's tally now how many 10s and how many 9s I got. So this submission was a success. We got 12 out of 10 Gem Mint 10s. Cole Perfetti, Alex DeBrinkett, JT Miller, Trevor Zegras, two Lucas Raymonds, French Quinton Byfield, which is probably a pretty low pop. The Alexis Lafreniere, two Marie Siders, the Maddie Beneers, and then of course the Young Gun Canvas of Kale McCarr. So the Canvas of McCarr definitely makes this a dub. I definitely got a lot more cards wrong this time around than last time. Actually, now that I look through the nines, I was actually only off on four of these cards. Um, the Seth Jarvis, I thought it'd be a 10. One, I thought all three of the Ravens would be a 10. And then I thought both of these McTavishes were 10 worthy. That's the only part. <laughs> I wish I got a McTavish Gem Mint 10. That's the only thing with the submission I... I'm going to gripe about. I wish I had a McTavish 10, but I can't really complain. Uh, everything else kind of came out how I expected. I was hoping for a Caulfield Gem Mint 10, but it was too good to be true. Came out a uh, Mint 9. Well, that's all right, Caulfield, my guy. I'll take a Mint 9. So yeah, guys, let me know how I did on my PSA submission. Let me know if you guys submitted anything to PSA at the last expo and if you'll be submitting anything at the next expo. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed. It really helps me grow the channel. And yeah, guys. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoy what you see here and you want to see more grading submission reveals in the future. Let me know. And yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. Take care. Have a good one.